The Central Industrial Security Force (CISF), established in its present form, the 15th of June 1983, is a central armed police force in India. It was set up under an Act of the Parliament of India on the 10th of March 1969 with a strength of 2800. CISF was subsequently made an armed force of the Republic of India by another Act of Parliament passed on the 15th of June 1983. Its current active strength is 148,371 personnel. In April 2017, the government raised the sanction strength from 145,000 to 180,000 personnel. Among its duties are guarding sensitive governmental buildings, the Delhi Metro, and providing airport security. It is directly under the Union Ministry of Home Affairs and its headquarters are at New Delhi. The CISF provides security cover to 300 industrial units, government infrastructure projects and facilities and establishments located all over India. Industrial sectors like atomic power plants, space installations, mints, oil fields and refineries, major ports, heavy engineering, steel plants, barrages, fertilizer units, airports and hydroelectric, thermal power plants owned and controlled by central public sector undertakings PSUs, and currency note presses producing Indian currency are protected by CISF. It thereby covers installations all over India straddling a variety of terrain and climatic conditions. CISF also provides consultancy services to private industries as well as other organizations within the Indian government. The consulting wing has amongst its clients some of the renowned business houses and organizations of India including Tisco, Jamshedpur, Sebi HQRs, Mumbai, Vidana Sabha, Bangalore, Orissa Mining Co., Bhubaneswar, Telangana Assembly, Hyderabad, Bangalore Metropolitan Transport Corp., Hill Kerala, IB Thermal Plant, Odisha, IARI, Delhi, NBRI, Lucknow and Electronics City, Bangalore. The scope of CISF's consulting practice includes security consulting and fire protection consulting. CISF is just a unique organization in paramilitary forces for India, which works for seaways, airways and some of the major installations in India. In CISF there are some reserved battalions which works with the state police to protect law and orders. CISF plays a major role in disaster management, for disaster management course the personnel are trained from NISA, Hyderabad. Another unique thing which the CISF has is a fire wing which helps during fire accidents in industries where CISF is on guard. <inaudible> Raising and charter It was set up under an Act of the Parliament of India on 10 March 1969 with a strength of around 2,800 personnel and as the name suggests, it was created for the better protection and security of industrial undertakings in the country. There was a limitation though, that industries to be provided protection should be wholly owned by the central government, which has since been modified so that the industries can now be a joint venture with the central government. However the role of CISF has undergone a diversification and it now also protects airports, seaports, metro rail networks, government buildings, heritage monuments including the Taj Mahal and Red Fort, opium and alkaloids extractions, nuclear power plants, and space installations. It also specializes in VIP security as well as disaster management. Topic. Structure and organization Topic. The CISF is headed by an Indian Police Service Officer with the rank of Director General, assisted by an IPS Officer in the rank of ADDL. Director General. The force is divided into seven sectors airport, north, northeast, east, west, south and training, and also has a fire service wing. The airport sector is commanded by an IPS Officer in the rank of ADDL. Director General, assisted by an Inspector General. The airport sector is divided into a number of field formation units, one for each airport. Units at major international airports are commanded by a deputy inspector general or commandant, units at smaller airports by a deputy or assistant commandant. The other six sectors are each commanded by an inspector general, who is assisted by a deputy inspector general. The five regional sectors are divided into zones, each commanded by a deputy inspector general. Within each zone are a number of units, each under the command of a commandant, or a dig for certain major units. A deputy commandant serves as the second in command of most units, or as the head of a smaller unit. 
Within the training sector, the National Industrial Security Academy (NISA) is headed by an Inspector General. The Fire Service Training Institute (FSTI) and six other recruit training centers are headed by Deputy Inspector Generals. The financial advisor of the CISF has been an Indian Revenue Service officer of the rank of director and also has die advisors from the Indian Audit and Accounts Service and Indian Civil Account Service. Topic: <laughs> Rank structure gazetted officers. Topic: being a central Indian police agency and having high presence of Indian police service officers, CISF follows ranks and insignia similar to other police organizations in India. Non-gazetted officers and members use the same ranks as other Indian police forces. Asterisk there is no equivalence between the ranks of the defence forces and the police forces since there is no government established relativity in terms of rank. CISF to protect non-nationalized industry, corporate sector The Indian Parliament on 25 February 2009 authorized the provision of Central Industrial Security Force security to private and cooperative establishments across the country for a fee with the passage of the CISF Amendment Bill, 2008. The bill, which was passed by Rajya Sabha on 19 February and Lok Sabha on 25 February 2009, also provides for deployment of CISF to protect Indian missions abroad and its participation in the UN peacekeeping operations. CISF started providing security to the Infosys Bangalore and Pune campus on 31 July 2009. The Infosys Mysore, the Reliance Refinery, Jamnagar and the Delhi Metro Airport Express Line are the latest additions to the list of private sector establishments to be placed under CISF cover. Mr. Manish Kumar Rai, Assistant Commandant, led the first contingent of CISF deployed at Infosys Bangalore. CISF has also started providing security to the Infosys Pune campus from 21 April 2011. Airport security The CISF is in charge of airport security at all commercial airports in India. Airport security, in the past, was under the control of airport police under the relevant state government. However, following the hijacking of Indian Airlines Flight 814 in 1999, the topic of handing over security of the airports to the CISF was first proposed. While this proposal lay low for the next two years, the central government decided to respond to the security threat faced by all major nations of the world after the 2001 terrorist attacks happened in the United States September 11, 2001, and decided to adopt the suggestion. The Jaipur Airport was the first airport that came under the CISS control on 3 February 2000. Following this, the majority of the commercial airports in India were brought under its purview. As of now CISF is protecting a total of 59 international and domestic airports in the country. <inaudible> Security for Delhi Metro <inaudible> Security on the Delhi Metro is handled by the Central Industrial Security Force CISF, who have been guarding the system ever since they took over from the Delhi Police in 2007. Closed circuit cameras are used to monitor trains and stations, and feed from these is monitored by both the CISF and Delhi Metro authorities at their respective control rooms. Over 3,500 CISF personnel have been deployed to deal with law and order issues in the system, in addition to metal detectors, X-ray baggage inspection systems and dog squads which are used to secure the system. Intercoms are provided in each train car for emergency communication between the passengers and the driver. Periodic security drills are carried out at stations and on trains to ensure preparedness of security agencies in emergency situations. Fire wing Besides providing protection, safety, and security to industrial undertaking, installations, CISF also offers protection against fire hazards. CISF has a highly specialized, trained and fully equipped fire wing. The first fire wing unit with a strength of 53 personnel was inducted in fact Cochin. 
As on date, the fire wing has been inducted in 91 units. The present strength of the fire wing is 6,769 personnel. The fire wing which is an integral part of Central Industrial Security Force is the largest, well-trained and equipped, firefighting force in the government sector. It is known as an outstanding firefighting force having an enviable record. It is providing fire coverage to establishments varying from power plants, refineries, petrochemicals, fertilizers, steel plants surface transport, heavy industries, space application center etc. Fire wing induction in the undertaking is not limited to providing manpower to fight fire alone. It also ensures availability of proper and adequate devices for fire prevention and fire fighting along with the firefighting staff. Special Security Group In 2006, Central Industrial Security Force CISF, on the basis of recommendations of the Intelligence Bureau, raised a special unit called Special Security Group SSG to provide security cover to persons nominated by the Home Ministry. It came into existence on November 17, 2006. This unit is responsible for providing physical protection, evacuation, mobile and static security cover to persons who have been nominated by the Home Ministry. For a person to be eligible for security cover by CISF Special Unit, the Intelligence Bureau and other secret police agencies are required to specify the danger after a detailed threat analysis, which are often fudged for political and other considerations. Amar Singh, Rajya Sabha member from Uttar Pradesh, from the Samajwadi Party, remained on X category central security cover for several years, based on secret police threat assessments, which entitled him to ten armed commandos, including two who accompanied him round the clock. In June 2016, he was stripped of his CISF security cover because the threat to him was considered spurious. In addition to CISF the government also utilizes the National Security Guard NSG, CRPF, BSF, and ITBP for personal security cover. See also Topic Ministry of Home Affairs Border Security Force Indo-Tibetan Border Police Central Reserve Police Force Sashastra Sima Bal Security Categories in India Assam Rifles National Security Guard Border Outpost Topic References Topic Topic External Links Topic Official website Description on Global Security. Org.